Gemini, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your weekly tarot reading for the week of November 8th to the 14th, 2021. Um, just finished Aquarius's reading. It was very intense, love-oriented, uh, but let's see here. This level of confidence about you this week, even though there is a bit of anxiety or just something that's making you a bit irritable. It could be somebody, I feel like, that's making you irritable, whether it's in your work environment, in your living situation, your family, a friend, you name it. But then there's parts of the week where you're sort of one with music or sort of the vibe in the air or you just kind of do your own thing and it helps you get back to not giving a shit or just not letting them get to you. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm loving your energy right now. It's kind of a, you can't get to me, even if you did it, uh, even a moment ago, okay, or previously. We're going to pull the main focus for the week from the Spellcasting Oracle deck. I'm hearing not to, ooh, something might startle you. Don't compare yourself to others this week. Their situation, their progress, their successes. Main uh, focus for the week overall, inspiration, okay? You also got home, forgiveness, and love. What I'm getting right off the bat, so focus on your dreams. You might be dreaming about past love situations. But while you're at home, there's a focus on you needing to forgive a past lover, okay? Or somebody you are wrapped up with currently or is coming back from the past, all right? You may need to forgive somebody who lives with you um, or did you wrong once upon a time. You may be very big focus on home life, you know, living situations. Do you love your home life, okay? Is it a sanctuary for you? Forgive yourself for making bad choices up until this point in one way, shape, or form. But this is going to be a true focus this week, love, okay? You're going to be dreaming about love situations left and right. You might even have a very predictive dream about the next relationship you're going to have or the future of your current one, okay? Or for some of you, the lack of which. Let's pull the rest of the oracles from the Starseed Oracle deck. It's this sort of energy, I'm looking at this imagery right here, where you are sort of the light in the darkness, you know, you're feeling very dramatic now, and you might as well, where you feel as if there's an environment, whether it's your living environment, um, you're at home, whether it's at work, it could just feel your view on the world at this time, feeling like you just need to be that light to guide others or to help others, or just to keep that light within alive in order to keep moving forward. Right? Not to let sort of dark energies or difficulties or the stresses that happen around you or within the world to sort of get you down. Wow. It's intense. Okay. We have four in total. So three of these and then the one inspiration card. Okay. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Absolutely. And this just fell for a reason. So there's a focus on your knowledge that lies within you having the answers, protection, loyalty, safety, trust, a huge focus this week. Some of you on your brothers or brother. Okay. Um, let's just pull the main focus. Um, sorry. <laughs> the main part of the reading from the mystic Monday's tarot deck. This is how I did it for Aquarius. And I think it works out well. I'm not going to, wow, yeah, I could feel a little bit messy at times. Breathe. I think a lot of you are very empathic, whether you realize it or not, okay? Alrighty, one for each. Easy enough. <clears throat> very interesting. You might feel very protected by certain, um, masculine energies within your life this week for whatever reason as we have a, a knight and a king on either end i don't know why i got that but it's you just feeling sort of um in touch with your feminine side this week ma male or female feeling a bit emotional or feeling the need to sort of cheers to you or all that you've overcome all that you have on the horizon kind of wanting to charge forth with your sword in a feisty and protective way towards new beginnings ready to march to the beat of your own gemini um drum interesting i almost failed to say that but whatever moving on <laughs> that was very interesting okay justice is what i just picked up or split the deck towards um yeah it feels like the scales are balancing out for you because you're not sort of 
um, you're doing what's right for you, or it just feels like people are looking out for you once again. Knight of Pentacles, okay? And this one's aligned with the Inspiration card, okay? So what is this all about? Something that's moving slowly this week, or could, you could find the beginning of the week in a beautiful way. It's quite slowly paced. Like, you have a lot going on recently, and it's just like gives me a chance to breathe but it's like something that you're inspired about as well as it moving quick enough you know it's like the feeling in the air is beautifully um i'm hearing complacent or leaving you that way or it's just sort of helping you breathe but then something needs to pick up pace at the same time so very conflicting in that sense the chariot the star and the page of cups okay it feels like the beginning of the week being quite slow is uh gives you a level of healing Something you need to keep the hope alive with that you're inspired to move forward with or to continue, okay? With the Page of Cups feeling as if you still feel like you're in the beginning stages of it, even if you've done it for a while. Does that make sense? Or invested in it for a while. It could be a relationship, um, but it feels more uh, hobby work or sort of a side hustle kind of related situation. Something your motivation hasn't dwindled. From or at times it might and then kind of pick back up, but it's moving too damn slowly, all right? But then you sort of sending out conflicting um, vibes to the universe, being like, I like when things are moving slowly to at certain points because it helps me heal and breathe and slow down, but this can just pick up pace. Like, I'm feeling inspired and motivated, so why am I not seeing the results or the, the pace that it deserves? Interesting. Some of you could be a YouTube channel. They keep reminding me of mine, and that's how I feel. Eight of Swords, but I don't have Gemini in my chart as far as I know. So this um, Eight of Swords is aligned with the Earth card. Uh, learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. It feels like the energy that I'm getting is you just kind of not tying yourself down or removing yourself from situations that leave you trapped these days and it, it being a uh, sense of relief for you. It, it's you sort of trying to or continuing to learn how to be the best version of yourself. And by just not allowing yourself to be wrapped up in situations that don't bring out the best side of you or that have in the past in comparison to other situations have left you feeling a level of defeat or just failure in the end, trying to learn from your past. All the meanwhile, again, trying to be the best version of yourself, trying to be an inspiration to others in that sense. Eight of Cups, yeah, don't feel bad for doing what's right for you. You know, don't stress over the cups that you leave spilt as you move forward, okay? Lifting the veil is what I'm being drawn to, questioning everything, okay? Again, remember what I said with the Ace of Swords? Your guard is up to a certain extent. You're not willing to get hurt or trampled over again. And, and I felt very confident when I said again. It's happened in the past, at least to a certain extent, okay? Anything unaligned must go. Anything unaligned must go, and that's the vibe you're giving off this week. And people are just like, whoa, okay, Gemini, I get it. But the portal card doors are opening for you, okay, because you're not settling, because you're not allowing people to walk all over you anymore, all right? And you're not letting things kind of, it's like you're taking the driver's seat, you know, you're taking the reins of your own life. I'm feeling very empowered in your energy. You know, you feeling motivated to jump out of bed in the morning, especially as you make your way to the middle and the end of the week. But just feeling as if you are pushed to not feel bad for being a feisty, passionate version of yourself, a better version of yourself, for sort of charging forth towards the bigger and the better. You might find the past is popping back up, okay? You're learning how to be human, you know? Understanding that you're not perfect, you've been through a lot, you know, you have emotions that you still have to sort through, healing that still needs to take place, but everyone else does too. And if they don't admit it, that's their own problem. Six of Swords. Okay, this one's aligned with surrender. So fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of light. Okay, so the six of swords, did this not already come out? Oh, that was the eight of cups, sorry. So being pushed to walk away, surrender to uh, defeat to a certain extent. And, and by that, I mean something that doesn't isn't meant to be anymore or just isn't meant to work out uh, past a certain point. Remembering certain people and situations aren't meant to be with you for a lifetime, just for a chapter or a portion of a chapter. And it's a healthy thing to accept, to surrender to, you know, accepting the extremes of life, 
where you start off the week as feeling a bit slower and it might pick up pace as you make changes and walk away from what no longer works for you towards the middle and end of the week. Although meanwhile, feeling quite protected as I picked up in uh, the beginning of the reading. When you need it most, a masculine figure, even if it's a female, will come through to, it feels like more than one throughout the week, will come through to be like, I got you, I got your back. Temperance, have patience. Don't let people get the best of you, okay? All right, you're manifesting what you desire at this time. You're manifesting a, a love that you deserve, okay? If this is a situation in love that you're walking away from or sort of feeling the need to walk away from in at least temporarily to come back in a more cool, calm, and collected spot mentally and emotionally, you're manifesting success within it because you're not allowing yourself to add to the conflict, or add to the the extremes in the negative sense, okay? Let's pull one for the Six of Swords, even though I feel like I got it. Yeah, you're going to lose sleep over this, okay? Or, again, you might be finding that you're dreaming about what you feel the need to, to separate yourself from, even if it's temporary. Feeling like you just don't want to put effort into it at this time. Some of you could be work. King of Wands to make our way to the end of the reading. You finish, this originally came off as somebody else's energy, but you finish off the week feeling quite strong, quite bold, you know, marking your territory for some of you. It's so aligned with Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. All right, the, the alignments in this um, reading in these two spreads is just absolutely perfection. It's absolutely perfect, excuse me. You being pushed to stand proud in all you've overcome, feeling quite strong from all you've been through, all the healing that you allow yourself to go through, the hard decisions you've had to make, uh, even if it feels a bit rough in the moment, and you're being reminded that you are a leader deep down. It's your sort of bravery, your strong approach, and your honesty, even the feistiness at times that leaves you feeling quite um, fitted or feeling like a leadership role in one way, shape, or form is fitting for you. They're randomly pushing me to this. Love and the Ace of Swords, okay? A feisty new beginning or putting a sword in an old past situation or uh, old issues to make the best out of a new beginning within love, however that pertains to you. Good for you. It might bring some emotions to the surface and some forgiveness might need to take place, but you deserve to be loved at the end of the day. King of Wands, Wands and the King of Swords. Wow, balancing out your masculine side, given it feels like you're very in touch with your feminine side this week and recently. Yeah, it's just you need to utilize your knowledge, your uh, wisdom you've gained over time from all you've been through, all you've overcome, and sort of let go of to be uh, the best version of yourself, to be a leader for certain people. It might be in a work situation or to sort of lead the way within your uh, love connection or certain friends, but to pave a new path in one way, shape, or form. It could feel like you're paving a whole new path, you know, being going through a divine detour, uh, trying to get away from chaos, right? But at the end of the day, it feels like you need to uh, rest, you know, given you finish off the week with a bit of a headache or feeling like you need to adjust your perspective in one way, shape, or form. But as you move into the following week, I feel like you will have a clearer the image a clearer view on what you deserve what you desire you know trying to keep that inspiration alive in it feels like all categories of your life all right what a powerful week for you so i hope this reading was truly helpful i hope you have the most amazing week and i'll definitely see you next time bye gemini